Hi, it's Carly and welcome back to another Monster High video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the playset portion of the Draculaura Diner playset. The biggest piece of this set is the Diner Kitchen and Diner Counter combo. It has a really retro feel since it looks exactly like what you would find in a 1950s diner. I am totally digging this look. The legs here on the bottom are kind of interesting because they have a bat wing design at the top and little claws at the bottom. These things don't come attached when it's in the box, so there is some assembly required with this piece. Let's go around back and see what it looks like back there. Okay, so this is what the kitchen side looks like. As you can tell, there is a little oven. And if I tilt it, you can see the spiderweb design on the counter and a range. This opening here is the opening in between the diner and the kitchen itself. And this little pull up here is where we're going to hang some of the accessories when we get to that portion of the video. Let's move on to the singular dining booth that comes with the set. It has a vibrant pink top and a black base. The plastic on the top is really shiny and I think that's a nice touch because it kind of emulates the patent vinyl look that a lot of dining booths had back then. It does have quilting on the back and instead of having regular buttons or studs, it has some skelettes. The base of it has these spiderweb designs on it which is really cute. And there's also some detailing here on the side of more spider webs. The back isn't all that exciting, but it does have a few bones running along the length of the back, which is really cool. This is a hollow piece, so if you take it and look at the bottom, you just see this big hole with all of the innards of the dining booth inside. So nothing super interesting there, but that is the dining booth. We have the dining table and two chair set. The legs for this table are really similar to that of the dining kitchen and dining counter. These also need to be put on when you get it out of the box. But let's go ahead and take a look at the top of this table. It's really adorable. It is in the shape of a coffin with a skelet and instead of having crossed bones underneath her, we have a crossed fork and a crossed spoon. So that is really, really nifty. Both of the chairs are identical to each other, but this is what they look like up close. We have a spiderweb thing going on here. As you can see, we have spiderwebs on the base, on the seat, and on the back. The pole of the seat is actually pretty interesting. It looks kind of like bamboo, but something tells me that it's probably a spinal column instead. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the accessories that come with this kit. There are a whole bunch of them, and a lot of them are really tiny, so be really careful when putting this away because it would really, really suck if you lost one of them. First up, we have this diner sign that matches the top of the table with this skelet and cross spoon and fork. This thing has chains holding it together and a little bone that it is hanging on. This actually goes right here on the side of the diner counter and kitchen combo. It just hangs right there. Next up, we have this little coffin clock, which is so cute. It has little bones as the time hands. This actually goes up here at a bit of an angle. So that's what it looks like. Next up, we have these two he food heating lamps, and these go on the little rod up here. I like placing mine on the outer side, and these things are really loose. They will slide every which way so they don't actually stay in their little notches like they should. So be careful about that. Let's just install this other guy here. And then next up we have the food ticket order little spinny doodad. If you actually know what this is called please leave it in the comments below. I would love to know. And it has a whole bunch of these little food tickets there that you can hang on. Those don't like sticking on the actual doodad itself so be careful. And I'm gonna clip that in right there. Let's go ahead and take care of what is on the floor. First up, we have this cauldron, and I'm just gonna place this back on the kitchen side of the playset on one of the burners. Next up, we have this serving tray with what looks like half of a eaten grilled cheese sandwich. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the serving portion for Dracula to pick up later. 
And here is the cash register. It looks like it has a tablet with all of the food choices on it, with a credit card ringer, and this thing actually opens, which is really nifty. But the detail on this is really cool. It looks like old cracked rock and it has a tombstone instead of a square screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the countertop. Right here, it looks like we have a cake display and it has some kind of like spikiness on the bottom of it with a ridged base. This little thing does come off and it has a skullet as a handle. And it looks like we have some invisible blue pie. That's interesting. I wonder what kind of flavor it is. Perhaps booberry? Ah ha ha. Okay, I'll stop. But we're gonna go ahead and put this next to the serving platter for our next guest. This little thing looks like a tiny little jukebox, which is a diner staple. And it just has all of the selections here. It even has some buttons to choose your music. This is really, really cool. It's actually nicely detailed. The sticker is a bit off, but it's still really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the table for the guests to enjoy. Here in this goblet, we actually have some kind of red liquid. It could be soup, it could be punch, I don't know. But it has cute little bat wings and bat details, and this is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the table for a guest to enjoy. Let's go ahead and take a look at these little pink things. These are actually cups for milkshakes, and they have spiderweb designs of them, which is no surprise. So I'm gonna go ahead and place two of these on the table because we need one for our last accessory, which is a little ice cream maker. So of course it has a skelet on it. What you do is you put the cup in this section right here, and it's supposed to be your little ice cream maker. So I'm gonna place that right here. And look, that is it. The diner has been assembled and those are all the accessories. So let's just move right along to the end. And there you have it. That is the diner from the Draculaura Diner playset. If you want to watch the video review of the Draculaura doll that comes with this playset, make sure to check out the description bar down below for a link to that video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Now you can watch another one of my Monster High videos, or you can watch one of my other friends' videos. Our pictures are always in the corner like these four examples.